Hi, my name's Anne Lawler and I'm going to be standing in the seat of Charlton to give the people of Charlton the opportunity to actually vote for real principle and policies. I think everybody's really concerned about the economic crisis and is very much aware that it doesn't matter which of the major political parties you look at, whether it's ALP, whether it's Coalition, the Greens, they don't have the type of economic policies required to deal with this crisis. The Citizens Electoral Council in, and our association with the physical economist Lyndon LaRouche in the United States have a program of how we can actually bring about a recovery. But that means that decisions like a, a Glass-Steagall bankruptcy reorganising of the financial system has to occur. We're not prepared to sacrifice the lives and the conditions of the people to bail out financial speculation. So we have to write off the unpayable debt. We need to re-establish a National Bank of Credit. If we're going to have any form of a recovery of, the, of what's required, then we have to have a means to actually fund a development program around major infrastructure in water, in high-speed rail, in shipping. We need to revitalise our manufacturing. We need to get our farms producing again, because in terms of looking after people, they are the means of which you're able to do that. We're not going to sacrifice the people, as I said, to bail out the financial speculation. What I'm saying to the people here is that the, this is a safe Labor seat. You've got a, a member of parliament by the name of Greg Combe, who has been very much a, a complicit participant in bringing down the conditions of the union movement here in Australia. And when I say that, what I'm saying is that under the Hawke-Keating era, Australia embraced economic rationalism. We started to outsource our industries, we've deregulated, we've free traded and we've privatised the country into a state where we're on the brink of not being able to support our population any longer. So those policies, and Greg Combe's role in this was under the, under the Keating government and the embracing of this, the ACTU leader, Bill Kelty, worked with Keating to actually diminish the union's resistance to the breakdown of our industries. Then you had the, Hawk, the Howard government come in and under the Howard government, Greg Combe participated and his contributions during the maritime dispute, during um, Rio Tinto in the Hunter Valley, all of these things, he bargained away a lot of the conditions of the workers at the time. And he was rewarded for that. He was backed and uh, he came out of the Harvard Trade Union program, backed by big business, and with that he was rewarded with a safe seat in Charlton, your seat. So what you're being, you're being taken for a fool, and you, this is a seat that was actually based on the principles of the old Labor. People like John Curtin, Ben Chifley, um, they fought, they are, Jack Lang. They fought for the principles of the common good of the people. They, they fought to establish um, national banking, to be part of development programs like we had with the Snowy River Scheme. We don't have that anymore. We can't build those things because we've actually sold out the, the means under economic, ec, under economic rationalism under, under which we can do that. So with my campaign, I'm not just looking for your vote. I intend to do something about the sellout of the country and I'm asking you to join me, right? Join in my fight to fight for the principles of the common good and the general welfare of these people once again. And I'm sure if we band together, then we can be successful. Don't think about the votes, think about the principle and what we need to fight for.